Hey guys, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy, and this time I'm reviewing Murder in an Irish Village by Carlene O'Connor. This is a cozy murder mystery. It's set in an Irish village, um, typical small town stuff going on here. Everybody knows everybody else's business, and all the characters are incredibly quirky and entertaining, which is awesome. Fair warning, I won this book as part of a Goodreads giveaway, so disclaimerness. Um, let's go. <laughs> So the main character in this book is Siobhan O'Sullivan. She is one of six children. Uh, she has an older brother, James, who is a bit of an alcoholic. He's trying to be sober, but it's kind of this constant struggle with him. And then Siobhan is really in charge of the four younger siblings. And each of them is so entertaining and quirky. And it's just kind of crazy to have that many kids that close in age. So Siobhan is 22 and her youngest sibling is 10, so she's basically in charge of all these teenagers. Um, and it's fun to see first like what it's like to be in a large family, but also Siobhan is trying to keep it all together. She's trying to be a parent, she's trying to give them space to like grow up and be teenagers and have some privacy, but at the same time she needs to keep an eye on them and like make sure they're doing okay. Just trying to keep her brother, her older brother, in line too. And they're all trying to work together to keep their parents' business running also after their, their untimely death. So we're introduced to the main murder in this book when we find a dead body in the bistro in the morning that's been stabbed with a pair of scissors. And it comes a day after both Siobhan and James have been fighting with this man, who is the brother of the guy who killed their parents. Um... So it doesn't look good for them. James ends up getting arrested because he his fight was so public and the fact that James was drunk the night before and can't even remember where he was, so he can't even give his own alibi. Um, so Siobhan really sets out to free her brother and to keep their business running because, you know, it's not so great to have a bistro or a murder was committed, or at least the body was dumped. There's also a tiny bit of a romance here between Siobhan and the village cop, or the Garda, who is sort of running the investigation, aiding in the investigation into this murder, and it's fun to watch them together because you could tell he likes her, but at the same time, like, he has to be the police officer. It's also really cool to see this relationship that they have with the guard because like, it's a cute romance, but also his struggle because it's such a small town. Like, he wants to protect these kids, especially after they've lost their parents. Um, and so he's like, I, you can't be investigating this, Siobhan. You need to stop. And But he still also, like, wants to help and keep them, like, informed with what's going on. And I, I just, I really liked the character of the guard. Um... It's a weird first name and like last name Flannery, but he's pretty, pretty cool. Um, there's also quite a few other quirky characters from like the, the local pub owner to the guy who runs the bicycle shop to this, these two women who run this like gift shop, I guess, like various eclectic candles and jewelry and bags and just whatever they can get to sell kind of thing. I really enjoyed the setting. It, at first, the language kind of threw me off because it does have a lot of Irish slang in it. And even though I read and watch a lot of British shows, it's not the same. Like England and Ireland have their own unique dialects. So it took me a while to kind of get into that. Um, but it wasn't too terribly distracting. After a while, I did get into that groove. And <laughs> what else about this book? Um, it's a pretty standard, mis like, cozy mystery. Like, there's enough entertaining characters and plot twists to keep it entertaining, but it's not so deep that, like, you have to overly think everything. Um, yeah. The ending came on kind of suddenly. We have, like, a lot of just, like, meandering about, trying to pick up clues, kind of a slower pace and all of a sudden the ending happens and it's like exciting and dramatic and 
on the edge of your seat and it was a completely different pace from the rest of it. Um, but I guess, I mean, it's, that's not too weird either for like a mystery. So it all works. It's all cool. It's all good. It's like a nice cup of tea. Um, it was cozy up with a blanket when it was snowing and drank tea and it was wonderful. Um, read this book all in one day. And yeah, gave this book four out of five stars. Sometimes I'm over the moon, like in love with the book. And this one's just like, eh, it was all right. It was cool. Um, I would not complain if there were like sequels with the following these characters. Um, especially Siobhan and the Garda. That would be cool to see them together. That kind of like want to know what happens next with those two. So peace out. I love you guys and keep reading. Bye.